we always have speech codes. The speech codes used to be that you couldn't openly avow your allegiance to the communist party in Soviet Russia. That might have some professional consequences for you. That would incur some opprobrium. Now, the speech codes mean that even if you're a duly elected senator, you're not allowed to criticize the vice president of the United States if the vice president is a member of certain protected and aggrieved identity groups. This we just learned from Kamala Harris. Really, we learned it from Whoopi Goldberg describing a, an interaction between Kamala Harris and Joe Manchin. So Joe Manchin is the sort of moderate Democrat from West Virginia. Kamala Harris, radical Democrat, most radical member of the Senate back when she was fully a senator. Now she's the vice president, but she'll also vote in the Senate. Uh, obviously, they don't agree on a lot of things. So Kamala Harris did something that was pretty tough by political measures. They're trying to work out this new stimulus deal. And Kamala Harris went down to go on local television in West Virginia and Arizona, two states where the Democrats are a little bit more conservative, to go circumvent those slightly more conservative Democratic senators and try to convince the voters in those states themselves and put pressure on those senators to go vote for the Biden-Harris plan without even talking to people like Cinema in Arizona or at Joe Manchin in West Virginia. So Joe Manchin was very upset about this and he uh, expressed his displeasure on TV. I saw it. I couldn't believe it. No one called me. We're going to try to find a bipartisan pathway for it. I think we need to, but we need to work together. That's not a way of working together what was done. Fair enough. It's not like he was out there throwing bombs, but he, he came out and he said, you know, this, this was really unprofessional, uncalled for, you know, pick up the phone, let me know what's going on. Don't go behind my back to try to turn my voters against me. Whoopi Goldberg was very offended, not by what Kamala Harris did, but by what Joe Manchin did. Okay. So let me just point this out. Joe, uh, she is the vice president. She does not work for you. She doesn't need your permission to go do this. And when you talk like that, it sounds a little bigoted, like you think you have the right to tell her when she can and cannot come someplace. So uh, Republicans are offering less than a third of what the, President Biden requested, less money for emergency employment benefits, smaller checks for individuals. So why would she need to come to you first or would come to him first, Sonny, when she knows what she's supposed to be talking about? This is such a cheap and lazy political shot. I, I, uh, when I'm considering all of the sort of left-wing commentators out there, Whoopi Goldberg is one of my favorites. I actually don't, I don't consider her the worst of the worst. To me, this just seems like she was hastily putting her show notes together and didn't want to take two seconds to formulate an interesting and serious thought about it. So she just plays the race card. But it's really, really pathetic. Because what she's saying is Kamala Harris, she doesn't work for Joe Manchin. Well, first of all, Kamala Harris is the, is the vice president, right? So she's not the president. Vice president, not one of the most important spots in the federal government. In this administration, she'll be fairly important because she'll be casting the tie-breaking vote. But the tie-breaking vote means she's got to work with senators, right? So her job is to work with the senators to get consensus and pass legislation. She especially needs to work with members of her own party, the Democrats. One way to really undermine all of that is to go behind their backs and apply a lot of pressure to them in their own states without even giving them a heads up. Forget calling them first without even giving them a heads up. And Joe Manchin expressing his displeasure. Do you think he's displeased because Kamala Harris is black? Do you think he's displeased because Kamala Harris is a woman? No, I think he's displeased because she behaved in a very disrespectful and unprofessional way. And they're supposed to work together for the entire administration. Does Whoopi even believe that this is about race or sex or something like that? I don't think so. I think it's just so easy. That is the, the reflex now, because uh, speaking of standards, our new national standard is this kind of bizarre racial and sexual caste system, whereby you can just throw every sort of complex issue or any kind of grievance onto those matters. It reminds me of when, when David Webb, the uh, political commentator, he, he uh, had this woman on. She was a black left-wing woman, and they were debating some issue. 
And it was a radio show. So, so she says, well, David, you only think that because of your white privilege. And David, David starts laughing. He said, you know, if you knew me, lady, I, I don't think you'd make that claim. She goes, no, it's just because it's of your white privilege. For those who don't know David, David Webb is black. He is not a white guy. He does not, I, I, I don't know him terribly well, but I've spent some time with the guy. I've never seen any evidence of white privilege, you know, dr- dripping out of the man. Uh, so she just said this to him because it's, it's just a reflex. It's easy. Sure. F- throw it off. Now, that's what Whoopi was doing here. And it's, it's really, really dangerous for society to be, to be engaging in those sorts of things. If you enjoyed that break from disinformation, historical revision, and screaming about the end of the world, be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you never miss another video.